Hey, what's up, guys? This is Matt Croissant over at McCarthy Hyundai, Blue Springs, Missouri, getting you some information on this 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. This is a front-wheel drive model, very, very similar to the all-wheel drive model that I showed you guys last week, but this is in front-wheel drive. We're going to go through it in depth, of course, as always. Got some nice alloy wheels on here, chrome accents on your door handles and window trim. You've got a rail system up above here for some extra cargo capability. Privacy glass on all of your rear windows. You've got a backup camera as well as a rear wiper and sprayer on your heated back glass. Keyless entry is going to be on the front two doors for you. And you've got a nice lighter tan interior on the inside. Turn indicators on your mirrors here for you. Projector beam headlights up front with some fog lights as well as LED daytime running lights are going to be available for you on this model. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside, see all the features that this Santa Fe has to offer to us. Got a nice little blind spot mirror here on the driver's side. Taking a peek inside, you can see we've got power locks, windows, and mirrors. Front two windows are going to be automatic for you. Got some nice storage in the doors with a bottle holder as well as a... There's some fuel door release right here, too. Inside, we've got a power driver's seat that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight way adjustable with power up and down lumbar support. Let's go ahead and get our AC rolling before I cook like a chicken in here. All right, get our radio turned off. AC's rolling. On the left hand side here, we're going to have some uh, controls for your dash illumination. You can cycle through your different drive modes. You've got Eco, Sport, and your normal driving mode here. Downward hill descent control is going to give you some extra control over the vehicle while rolling downhill. Placing your foot on the brake is going to help slow the vehicle down by downshifting for you and providing some engine braking, which takes some stress off of your brake pads and rotors. Tracks control will be right here for you. We've got an emergency brake on the floor right there. Steering wheel itself does tilt and telescope. You can unlock it with that lever there up, down, in and out, wherever you need to be. And then mounted on here, we're going to have volume controls, track and, track and preset control. You can mute your audio system as well as cycle through your sources. You've got voice recognition control and Bluetooth hands-free calling. Up above to the right, we've got cruise control. And then these three items are going to control your drive display here for you, where you can see trip and fuel economy information, music, service settings, as well as tire pressure info and various settings that you can use to customize this vehicle. This 2017 model has only 30,863 miles on it. You can also see your current drive selection and the ambient temperature of 84 degrees outside. Let's go ahead and put these headlights back on auto as well. All right. Left-hand wand here, since we just talked about that, is going to control your blinkers, brights, and headlights. You've got automatic headlights. Fog light control is also right here for you. And then your right-hand wand will control your front and rear wipers with their respective sprayers. Up above, we've got LED lighting. Sorry, not LED, halogen lighting, front and rear. The nice pilot light for nighttime, sunglass holder, nice standard rear view mirror. This vehicle does come with blue link, which means you do have some remote starting capability and a ton of other awesome features with your blue link. I can get you a free trial for that on pre-owned vehicles for three months. Rear view mirror, it's going to be mirrored as well as lit for you. These are also telescopic, you have a nice card holder. So if you pull this out, it reaches the full length of the door for you right there. All right, moving down, we've got some nice storage up above right here. CD player, and then your entertainment center where you can access a combination of information that you can change in your settings depending on what you like to see there. Going into all menus, you can see we've got access to our radio, music, images once your phone is connected, the auxiliary port, Pandora, your phone, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto even, uh, your Blue Link system, whoops, didn't mean to press that, your quick guide for the vehicle, on-screen climate control, Sirius XM data, you've got other sound applications that you can add or remove, uh, you can set up voice commands as well as other settings in here too. Then down below is going to be analog controls for pretty much everything that I just talked about. Your phone, apps, Blue Link, settings, syncing through tracks, radio and media, volume adjustment, and cycling through and tuning items. Front and rear defrosting is available on here. 
climate control. This is a dual climate automatic temperature control system. So um, you can go ahead and get your temperature set right here and then driver and passenger can control their own. Now you do have uh, some rear vents in this vehicle as well. Down below is gonna be a power center. You can see we've got some nice open pieces to our left and right so that you can route cables to where you most efficiently need them to be. Down here, you've got a 12 volt outlet. So if we can get some focus here, Mr. iPhone, thank you. There we go, 12 volt outlet, one and two as well as a USB and auxiliary port right here. Man, we were just having some focus issues today. I'm so sorry, guys. Nice little storage area down here as well. You've got heated seats up front with this nice cloth interior, automatic vehicle. Putting it in reverse is gonna bring up your backup camera. You can see you've got projected pathing, so you can see exactly where the Santa Fe is going to be headed towards, as well as where it's currently at for you too. You've got view of the bumper down below here, and then these horizontal lines for distance judgment, vertical lines represent the true sides of the vehicle. So as long as nothing is in between those two items there, um, you can see freely, nice wide angle view as Mike Cole is passing by and a customer is backing out in front of me. I'm gonna put this back in park so they don't get confused. You do have manual shifting capability available on the vehicle as well by putting it in drive and slapping it over to the right. Couple cup holders here and a peek at the key fob. Nice little storage item right here as well. Center console has an upper tray and a deep well for storage. Glove box is lockable and has all your owner's manuals inside. Still in the original packaging, actually. Passenger seat is going to be manually adjusted on this model. All right, that's it for the front area, guys. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the back seats as well as the hatch. Fuel doors on the left, by the way. All right, so back here, we've got more storage, bottle holders in the doors, hard back seats with some cargo bags. I like these seats because if, if the seating is really tight or cramped, you kind of have some extra knee space right here as a rear passenger. You've also got a 12 volt outlet back here and you've got your own little personal vent right here on the B pillar of the vehicle. Fully adjustable and angle up and down, openable and closable. Your seats, spacious for three. You got your own armrest with cup holders. Man, they really just didn't take anything off on here, huh? We got all kinds of original plastics in here. Latch seating for child seats. These also fold down as well as recline using this lever right here. So you can take a snooze or utilize your storage a little bit more efficiently as well. Handles, hooks, and lighting are also available back here for you too, guys. Bro, that was freaky. Freaky. Away. Yeah. Started backing up. All of a sudden, there's a conversation going on in the car. <laughs> connected to somebody's phone. <laughs> Bluetooth. Like, uh, That's crazy. Awesome. Isn't that the best? Nice little Hyundai venue. Sorry for the pause there, guys, but uh, always got to be friendly to your fellow employees, right? All right, so we've got a nice tunnel cover back here, as you can see. You can pull this here and install it just like so. Now, notice there's actually two different slots that you can put this tunnel cover in. So uh, you can actually put it right here, which will allow these rear seats to fold back even further for you. Pretty nice, right? You get your cloth floor mats back here as well as a cargo mat for the rear hatch. Lifting up here, you can see you got your roadside tools right here and a nice little convenient spot to store the tunnel cover right here. So you can get that locked away with ease. And then you've got your spare tire underneath these items. 12 volt outlet is also in the hatch here for your tailgating purposes. You, uh, you Kansas City Chiefs fans in the area. Go Broncos! Just saying. Who's your favorite football, football team, guys? Make sure you leave that in the comments. You know, we don't always have to talk about cars, but I know that's the focus. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. If you'd like any more information on this particular vehicle, head on over to McCarthyHyundai.com. We're going to look up stock number UH5534. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments or questions about the Hyundai Santa Fe Sport in front wheel drive. Most importantly, do not forget to subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel. 
for your informational needs. Don't forget to hit that notification bell while you're at it. This is Matt Croissant over at McCarthy Hyundai, Blue Springs, Missouri. Thank you so much, guys. We hope you're having a wonderful day.